Alright guys, what's going on? It's your boy number one boss here. It's a weird intro. Anyways, what's going on guys? So as you guys see by the title, the thumbnail, and all kinds of games, that this is the combat beta for the uh, the new ability that they're technically going to be bringing out. They're still working on it, like like obviously you guys have seen the video. It's in the beta, so uh, they're still working on it a lot. Uh, one thing I, I'll just quickly just jump into this, uh, I want to say quickly that one thing I noticed when I was training my combat um, was that it doesn't use like ultimate abilities. At least it, it, I, I had full ability bar. I was waiting for an ultimate ability to be used up, and I didn't use them. So hopefully that gets added into there. If not, I guess it's not a big deal. You just press a quick number on your keyboard. It does the ultimate. Um, for example, I'd be using something like uh, the sunshine thing for whenever I'm training magic. 30 seconds, you hit 50% harder. Um, if you want to use Berserk, it's just a quick little tap, and it'll use it. Hopefully that does get fixed into going in there as well, though, so it just does it automatically. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of a little bit too much into the... <laughs> anyway, let's turn this video kind of over, basically. So, anyways, guys, as you guys see, I tried out melee first. Um, now, keep in mind, guys, uh, the weapons I'm using in this video are not... They're they're technically called... They are they are shitty weapons, right? Right now, if you guys use an AGS, it's shit. The only thing that's good is an SGS right now because it has a really good effect when it heals you and you're using momentum. Uh, but that's the only reason why the S SGS is normally a pretty high price. But a an AGS is shit, man. Claws are pretty fun. I don't have any used claws since uh, you know EOC, obviously. Um, all the weapons I am using are shit. The main re the main reason I'm using these uh, weapons is because it is bringing back specials. Um, that's the main thing about this whole update is that it is bringing back specials for every single weapon. Now, I've already read comments on other people's videos uh, showing this type of video. And um, I'm going to tell you... If it is too late for EOC to become, you know, somewhat of what it was pre-EOC, you wouldn't be here if it was too late, man. If it was actually too late, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. You wouldn't have watched all the other videos. You wouldn't be commenting on this video. It's too late because you're still fucking here, so it's not too late. If you were gone, then I understand that if you're completely gone. If you've quit and you're still watching videos, you're not completely gone yet, so it's not too late for anyone. If you guys will be watching YouTubers the next month or so, you guys, well, once the update comes the next month or so, you guys will be watching them. Um, and if you guys like the, the whole update, you guys miss the specials and this and that, then you might come back. So please, I don't want to read no fucking comments. It's too late. Now, as for the video, uh, as you guys can see, it does automatically set up your ability bar for you. Uh, pretty shitty abilities it put up there for me, though. I'm like, I mean, whenever I was using a two-hand weapon, uh, I, I, I put different abilities on there. You guys will see sometime down the clip later on. Um, and I put a few extra abilities on the ability bar, got rid of a few. They have like stun on there, I don't really know why, like the, the kicking one. Um, I don't need that, I'm not trying to stun anything, so I put something else there instead. Um, but all in all, definitely an amazing update. I gotta tell you guys, I'm very excited for this update for the main reason of Slayer. I think his Slayer became, I'm not gonna lie man, Slayer was painful to do. The last bit of Slayer experience for me, it was the most painful, most boring thing I've ever done in this game almost, because... I remember what it used to be like pre-EOC, basically. No abilities, you sit there, you kind of just watch your character, move on to the next monster after each, you know, keep going Slayer task to Slayer task. Um, you know, make your banking more efficient and do it more quickly, get ready for the next task. Uh, one thing I definitely didn't like about EOC was having to click the abilities the entire time. And this update right here is going to basically defeat all of that. You will not have to click the abilities anymore. Quickly just put on the ability and uh, your, your your character basically automatically do every single ability in your bar. But I must say I'm quite jealous of anyone that is not Twitter with Slayer right now, which is like 99% of the community. Um, I would definitely go hit up Slayer right now. Once this update comes out, I would definitely go hit up some Slayer um, and enjoy that shit becoming you know, what it used to be. Uh, more relaxed type of a method of slaying at least. Um, is it more efficient to use abilities uh, you know with their keyboard? It probably will be. It probably still is more efficient to use your keyboard. Uh, one thing I know is that a few of my friends went to Virago and they tried out with this new shit and it doesn't work out that well at all. They, they basically died the entire time. You can like AFK technically but that's technically leeching so you can't really do that. Uh, but it's not really effective for something like Virago which is Kind of nice to know there's still some bosses out there you can't just AFK. I like having bosses that you can't necessarily AFK. You have to actually know what the abilities do and you got to use them at the right time. So you kind of have to have a little bit of knowledge of what you're doing instead of just, you know, 12 year old running around with like D claws in the sand. Now, one thing I'm going to say is that I am hoping that they keep momentum there because right now momentum is something that it's an ability that you use and you don't use any abilities when you're using it. Um, so hopefully they keep that like that because if I want to go train at the Abyss right now, and I technically use up that new momentum, the upgraded momentum technique you can call it. 
Uh, I will be using abilities, and that's not good for something that you're trying to, you know, hit multiple amount of targets. Uh, you know, aka using blood barrage or, you know, ice barrage, all that shit. Ice and fucking rock and all that crap. Um, so hopefully they keep that there. Uh, if they don't, then hopefully, you know, you can still do that type of method. Um, because that's something that I don't want. I mean, I don't want to, you know, be doing abilities on like one of a walker when there's like 30 around me and I have blood barrage activated. Anyways, moving on. Uh, yeah, sadly, I only had steel arrows in my bank. I didn't have any rune arrows or dragon arrows. So the testing out with the depot wasn't really that effective. I used it like once and it was like, no, I can't use steel arrows with this thing. Um, keep in mind, Debo is like, what, fucking level 60 requirement? It's shit. And our stream, man, it really does matter on the level bracket for the for whatever you're using, right? So, I mean, Dragors will make an AGS look like shit. Because it's like 20 combat levels higher to use it. Um, I think, is, is it 75 attack? So it's a 70 attack now for the Gospels. I'm not too sure exactly on that one. I've been 99 for a long time. Um, it's, it used to be 75, I know that. But I think it might have been moved down to 70. If not, it's probably still 75 then. Uh, but level 90 weapons make that thing look like shit, and that's why it's always been priced at like 3 mil. Now, I didn't know that the AGSs did skyrocket the first day for about 24 mil from what I heard. Uh, that's just kind of like a hype, you know, it's going to go back down to like 5 plus mil or so. Because, um, let's be honest, these special attacks aren't that great. Uh, I mean, they used to be amazing, but ever since they added all the new weapons... Uh, an AGS special is pretty shit. It doesn't matter if you hit a 3,000 with it. That's kind of average of a hit when you use Drygors. Uh, so it's nothing really special, but it's nice to see the special is back. A little less bitching about no more specs in the game. But anyways, moving on, I did use a little bit of range. I had, Ke I had uh, Keanu Crossbows in my bank. I bought those a little while ago. Luckily, I had full armor in my bank. The first time I had to hop back on the regular RuneScape by myself full bandos and then hop back to the beta. You cannot use a GE in beta, which kind of sucks, I see. People are trying to sell bandos for like 100 mil. I'm like, I only got like 50 mil on me right now. I can't even buy this bandos. I mean, once you trade and then you go back to the regular game, it acts like no trade is ever made. Uh, it's like playing a private service. It doesn't affect you in any way or it doesn't affect your real account in any way. So um, I, don't, I don't know, man. People are weird. They're like fucking dicing and shit over there. I remember the first time they brought beta into this game, man. People were dicing in a beta server. Like, what the fuck? So anyways, yes, I tried out range. It was just as nice using the abilities for you. You don't have to do anything. You just sit back and relax. Definitely a nice add-on to this game. Um, it, will be, it will bring back a little bit of what it used to be like. Um, but people have to keep in mind that the game has progressed and that, you know, the weapons that they used to use back in the day aren't as good anymore. So hopefully people, you know, if they do come back, um, keep in mind, Dragor, best weapons for melee, Seismic One, and Singularity Orb is good for Mage, and Ascension Bows is for range. Those are all level 90 weapons. Uh, in the future, I'm sure we're going to get like level either 95 or 99 weapons. How OP that will be, I don't really know. Um, I guess they could just upgrade you know, new monsters that you know, would require more of a higher uh, tier for you know, whatever you're using. Maybe it'll you know, hit. It'll Because some things have like high defense. Right? Like I noticed Eretz, if you use fucking Chaotic Crossbows like I did, you won't hit shit. I'm surprised I haven't hit with the God Sword at you on the Eretz, but um, I guess that's what the abilities was good for. I mean, currently right now, I believe I get around, uh, I think it's like two, not 200. I think it's a little bit around 130 Eretz an hour if you were to use abilities with Drag Wars. I felt like with that AGS, I was going to kill like 30 an hour. So just to give you guys a little bit of an example, when using abilities and better weapons, you know, like 130 plus kills, when not, I was getting like, I swear I was in like probably 30 kills an hour. So um, big difference, obviously, but it is nice to have the specs back. Uh, D clause is nice to add back. Like I said, though, not as effective anymore. Uh, but I guess for a special, you know, either have D clause or uh, an AGS, and then put your draggers back on. You can always do that. In fact, that's probably what we'll end up doing sometime in the future. Is that you're gonna have an AGS, maybe a Saragod sort of, even if you don't have like Soul Split yet, um, and then just ha have draggers and then switch to the next weapon. You know, do the special and then go back to draggers. You could do something like that. Anyways, it is 6:30 in the morning right now for me on Saturday. I gotta get up kind of. Not early tomorrow, but I gotta get up at least before like four o'clock. Uh, I'm gonna have this video rendered tonight and hopefully scheduled for tomorrow. Um, I'll probably end up rendering it or not scheduling it tomorrow, uh, like an hour after I have to leave my house. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. This will put back my video for today. I was gonna make all my progress to 120 stats, so you guys will see that one tomorrow, and this will be going up today. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, definitely do tell me how you guys feel about this update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.